Well, hello once again, all my vintage dirt bike loving YouTubers, and thanks for joining me again as we check out a few more old race bikes from back in the day here on my increasingly popular Classic Dirt Bike TV channel. Now, in this featured clip, we are going to take a look at a couple of Honda machines I captured at a local motocross event uh, just a few years back. Now there's nothing special about these machines other than they were just a couple of really good looking bikes so let's just take a few minutes to have a look at James McNally's XR500 Honda and John Hill's CR250 Red Rocket. Now James's uh, CNG XR500 Honda has of course an American made CNG frame which is uh, hand built in Failbrook in California. Now CNG build many different types of frames for many different makes and models of off-roaders and uh, once these frames are painted in their respective colors uh, you have to admit that they certainly look the goods. Now these CNG chassis are very high quality and uh, this particular unit is specifically designed and manufactured to take this uh, particular Honda XR500 motor. Now, as you can see in these particular shots, there is uh, no continuation of the frame rails running underneath the motor. As it looks like that big XR500 engine is used as a stressed member to connect both ends of the frame. But an absolutely uh, stonking looking uh, Honda machine there with that big uh, Honda 500 motor and that beautiful uh, CNG frame. Now when it comes to these XR500 engines, I'm sure you don't need me to tell you how good these uh, four-stroke motors are. Single cylinder four-stroke of course with a twin port exhaust head and uh, if I remember correctly these had a hefty bore of 18.9 millimeters and a stroke of about 80 millimeters. Now these engines were normally fed by a Japanese Kian carburetor and uh, I think it was about 36 horsepower that these engines uh, put out. Now the engines had of course a wet sump with the oil stored in the bottom of the motor and I think these normally held about 2 litres of uh, engine oil. Five speed gearbox of course with the wet multi-plate clutch and the CDI uh, electronic ignition. Now these engines naturally were designed in Japan but uh, were actually assembled in countries all over the world. Now the XR Honda motors came in two versions, the R and the L version and the R version that we're looking at here was your enduro and mainly for off-road use. Now the front forks on James's bike uh, look like a pair of uh, very good quality Kayabas and these suspension systems were used on a multitude of different motorcycle makes and uh, they were widely used across the motocross world. Now as rear shocks go, these uh, works performance piggyback shocks are very good quality items and certainly look the part on this uh, XR Honda. Naturally, you could fit whichever make or model of rear suspension units you could afford, uh, although other than fitting a pair of top of the range Olins, these works performance uh, shocks are surely the next best thing. Now the fuel tank on James's bike was, uh, if I remember correctly, taken from a Honda CR250 
and uh, this looks uh, absolutely perfect sitting on top of a very nice C and J frame. Now mind you the uh, seat doesn't look the most comfortable but nevertheless it certainly looks functional and again just looks uh, very nice on this uh, XR500 machine. Now as I mentioned earlier this 500 Honda has a twin port cylinder head with these twin exhaust pipes eventually leading into a single uh, megaphone tailpipe at the rear. And there's a lovely old brap that uh, comes out of the stainless steel exhaust pipe when that uh, big 500 motor gets uh, fired up. But overall that's a beautiful machine this uh, 500 XR Honda of uh, Jamesy's and it looks uh, absolutely stunning sitting in that uh, Pow Mill sunshine a few years back. Okay that's just a brief look at James McNally's uh, XR500 Honda and uh, there's nothing really special about the bike other than it's just a nice uh, well built uh, four stroke racer. Now next up we are going to take a look at uh, John Hill's uh, beautiful CR250 Honda. Now once again there's nothing really outstanding or special about this bike but uh, again I uh, had to show this bike as it looks uh, fantastic uh, once again posing here in the Scottish landscape at uh, Pow Mill. Now as this was a few years back, I can't remember exactly what year this bike was and I'm certainly not going to state a particular year in question because I know it causes a lot of uh, controversy between my uh, YouTube subscribers with regards to the years of particular bikes but nevertheless it's a very nice looking uh, CR250 uh, Red Rocket. Now previously, uh, James McNally's XR500 Honda of course was a 504 strokes but uh, this motor is of course a single cylinder 2 stroke 250 a reed valve engine which has uh, fed its fuel normally by a Japanese uh, Kian carburetor. Now I'm certainly not going to lecture you on how good these Honda motors were uh, back in their day. In fact, in the, even in this modern day, these are still very competitive uh, little engines and uh, all my YouTubers will be well acquainted with the ins and outs of these iconic engines. Now a set of uh, Showa forks on the front end of the CR250. Now these were also good suspension systems for the time and kept uh, this uh, little 250 uh, red rocket tracking straight and true even in the roughest of conditions. Now John's bike has been fitted with these classic Fox air shocks which of course were invented by Bob Fox way back in 1974. American made of course by the Fox factory in uh, Brasselton in Georgia in the USA. But uh, Fox are actually still making modern variations of these old air charge suspension units uh, to this day. Now uh, drum brakes of course on these CR250s as uh, it would be a few years further down the line before we saw those uh, relatively high tech disc brakes on these Honda Scramblers. The front hub naturally was cast in magnesium uh, probably uh, to keep the overall weight of the bike down to an acceptable level. Now the exhaust system on John's bike is of course not original but uh, a very more upmarket, very high quality 
uh, PFR replacement system. Now, these are excellent exhaust systems and uh, John's pipe leads up to this uh, American made D&G tailpipe which uh, was once again another uh, more upmarket replacement for the Honda original. Now the bike of course is not an original uh, Honda Red Rocket with uh, some of these replacement uh, trick parts on it but uh, you have to admit it uh, still is a stunning uh, looking uh, little twin shock scrambler. Now these uh, CR250s are still very competitive bikes around the uh, classic and twin shock uh, racing circuits uh, here in the UK anyhow but uh, to get a good example of one of these bikes and if you get the right rider on board these bikes are capable of uh, holding their own in any uh, twin shock or classic racing event. So there you have it, just a brief insight into James McNally's XR500 Honda and John Hill's 250 Red Rocket. Nothing special about any of these two bikes, although definitely worth a look and a few minutes of fame here on my classic dirt bike TV channel. This video was brought to you in association with Worldsport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website for more information.